Okay, I'm just gonna go real quick over how you remove your rear wheel, and I'll do another video for how to put it back on. Uh, I'm removing this because, as you can see, I've got flats uh, from goat heads, both tires. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug the motor, and it just wiggles free. And then we're gonna unloop it here out of its little clamps to free that up. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the cap off, and there's one on the other side that you'll just take off. Trust me on that. It was right here. <laughs> My lovely wife is helping with the camera. All right, so now you see you've got the chain tensioner and the main bolt and the wire. So what you'll do is with a 10 millimeter wrench, you wanna loosen the chain tensioner. I'm gonna take this guy off. So you back him up enough that that clears. This is a uh, 18 millimeter wrench. Actually, I need to get this guy out of the way. Get the chain tensioner out of the way. And then you'll loosen this guy. Easy peasy. And in fact, you, you want to move your cable straight so you can take the bolt off around it. And you'll see that there's a lock washer. So this will come all the way off. There's a lock washer and then there's a chain tensioner. So now it's all cleared and you can move these things in the slot. If you come around to the other side, we'll do the same thing. We'll loosen the chain tensioner. Again, that's 10 millimeter. Get that out of the way. Get our 18 millimeter wrench. Loosen this guy. And you don't have to take him all the way off, you just gotta get everything out of the way. All right, now back to the other side. Let me show you how you get it off now. This is the best way I've found. First of all, you gotta pull the wheel forward. If you pull the wheel forward, now that you've released the tensioner, you can see, you can get yourself a little bit of slack in the chain. And you can get the chain, if I can get it here, you can get the chain off the sprocket, all the way. Yep. Once you get that, then you can go up here and run it off here, right? And now you have your slack to move it off here. Once the chain is off and out of the way, then you can take the rear wheel off. So now I'm ready to change the tire on that.